In this video, we are going to discuss the cost of living in Portland, Oregon, as it relates to houses, whether you're buying or renting, groceries, gas costs, and transportation, as well as healthcare. And we're gonna compare it all back to other major cities in the Northwest. So let's get started. pricing is what makes living in Portland so expensive, right? If we compare it back to the United States as a whole, the average price for the United States is coming in for 2021 right at $408,000. Now, if we took Portland as a whole, the Portland metro area as a whole, our medium price right now is $550,000 and it's increasing. I mean, it seems like it's increasing day by day. If I look at that and compare it back to all of uh, the top cities in the Pacific Northwest, say I look at the North and South, Seattle, as well as California, we still are relatively low, comparatively speaking, to those two cities. But a lot of our price is because of such great jobs that we have. I mean, we have some of the big players as far as Nike, their headquarters is here, and Intel, they're, they're also located here. All right, so now let's take a look at the rental market and what we are seeing in there. Rental prices have also gone up. I mean, I know that you've heard in the news over the last couple of years that price Prices were increasing as far as rentals and that is correct as you look at this chart here it kind of explains that to you Portland is seeing tremendous growth and with that we start to see prices increase right so if you're looking at um, rentals and say we're looking at a house in the metro area three to four bedrooms that can range about two thousand all the way up to three thousand dollars depending on location it could definitely go higher than that and could go lower than that but they are few and far between okay so utilities if i were to average everything out and let's talk water and sewer if if you were looking at water and sewer i would say be prepared to pay around 200 per month probably over that depending on your home size how many people you have living there how much water you are utilizing now if we look at garbage garbage will run you in the city around fifty dollars per month now let's take a look at the gas prices well actually let's not take a look at gas prices yet let's kind of talk about portland as a whole and transportation because you can live here and not have to utilize a car portland has over 350 bike lanes yep i said it L love bikes we love bikes let me say it again we love bikes okay as you drive around the city you will see lots of people on bikes bicyclists everywhere and that's a means of saving money i mean it is a very bikeable city like i said it has 350 bike lanes which is allows for people to go to and from work or visit friends whatever they need to do on bike we also have the trimet system which has um, commuter trains buses that they could take the max light rail system you want to look into that it also goes through the city and has expanded over the last couple of the years so it gives you the ability to use public transportation and avoid those ever rising gas costs on average for gas currently right now gas prices are anywhere from three dollars and 75 cents up to four dollars and 25 cents depending on the type of gas that you're putting in your car all right we cannot talk about portland without talking about dining out things have changed slightly due to covid i mean a lot of restaurants have closed a lot of people are hunkering down and staying at home so they're doing more eat at home versus eating out but on average for a medium scale restaurant for two people you're going to spend about seventy dollars and that could be seventy dollars per person if you were to do a more high-end restaurant in the pandemic alone i have spent so much money on groceries okay and yes if i weigh it out i spent less than i was spending because i was eating out more but when you have a household of seven like i do I mean, you are constantly at the store trying to feed those people, especially when my kids don't eat leftovers. Um, personal problem, totally understand. 
but if we're looking at groceries, I would say on average, they're like whatever the average is in the United States at this time. I don't think that groceries are going to be a different cost. So whatever you're accustomed to now is what you're going to see here. One thing to take in mind though, when you are grocery shopping, what you see is what you get. And when I say that, we do not have state tax. So that means whatever the price is that you see in the store is the price that you will pay, which is a benefit with living in Oregon, okay? Yes, it shocks me every time I go to another city and they charge tax on an apple, but we don't. So that's another reason why I love it. All right, let's talk healthcare. So on average, based on other cities in the United States, I would say that we are on the lower end. But then again, some may dispute that and that is okay. If I was to take the average person, 40 years of age, non-smoker, I would say that you're going to pay anywhere from 260 and that's if you're an entrepreneur, you don't have a company that is supporting you on the healthcare side. Um, so if you're going at it on your own, that is what you're going to have, that fee of 260 to $300. And there's going to be a deductible, of course, attached to that. Comparatively speaking, if I were to look at some of the larger cities, it's going to be much higher to get healthcare there. So I think that you will do, you will see a tremendous um, decrease as far as your healthcare when you come to Portland. But don't quote me on that. Go out check it out and make sure that that is correct. And if you have looked for healthcare in Portland and you do know it's much lower or much higher, leave me a comment. Just go ahead and leave a comment down below for all of those that have watched the video and are questioning whether or not I know what I'm talking about. So we have discussed the cost of living in Portland, Oregon, right? While I was doing the research for this video, I took the liberty to look at the top most expensive cities in the United States, and we're not even ranked in the top 15. We're not even in the top 10, but you know who are ranked in the top 10 and in the top 15 is California, in Seattle. We are still coming in lower than California and Seattle, which is why Portland is still such a great city to live in. As usual, if you have any questions about Portland, Oregon, or anything that I've discussed in this video, feel free to leave me a comment. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Till next time. All right, you ready? Get your game face on, Derbs.